This is part five of my video series for absolute beginners in which I introduce you to some of the fundamentals of rock drumming. In the first four parts, I introduced the basic rock groove. We were playing eighth notes on the hi-hat, snare on two and four, and I showed you a couple of simple but very effective bass drum patterns. I showed you a little bit of improvising, and uh, we learned how to play a four bar phrase, count out loud of course, and to accentuate the beginning of each phrase with a crash. Today I'm going to show you how to play a basic fill. What's a fill, you may ask? I'll attempt to define it. A fill is the figure that we play that helps us transition from one part of music to another. So if we're playing a song and you've got a verse and you're moving to the chorus, we would play a fill as we transition from the verse to the chorus. And it helps kind of pick up the energy of the song to add a little bit of interest and movement to the music. Uh, sometimes drummers use a fill as an opportunity to show off a bit, which may or may not be appropriate. In most cases, I would try and avoid doing stuff like that, but then maybe I'm uh, not got all that much to show off about. The fill I'm going to introduce you to today is often known as OU Knucklehead or Pat Boone Debbie Boone, but I'm going to call it Ta Di Takadi, having nicked some very useful rhythmic syllables from the Indians who've invented a beautiful rhythmic solfege system called conical. I recommend you check it out. I have almost zero knowledge of it, but I'm using their sounds to verbalize the fill. This is how the fill sounds in a four bar phrase. So let's look at how this fill pattern works. We're going to go right, 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 left, right. Obviously that's me on my right-handed kit. If you're playing a left-handed kit, you can start with your left, 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 right, left if you want to, uh, or you might want to change it to some other way. This is my recommended sticking though. Right, 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 left, right. Right, 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 left, right. ta di ta ka di ta di ta ka di now you'll notice that my right hand is just playing a sequence of notes and it's the same sequence that I would be playing if I was on the hi-hat. So I'm going one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And we're actually going to be playing the same pulse as the hi-hat is playing. Three and four and right, 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 right. Now I'm going to put the left back in, right, right. Right, left, right, 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 left, right. Ta di ta ka di, ta di ta ka di. Okay, pretty straightforward. And before we do anything else, we're just going to practice doing this until the whole pattern feels relaxed and natural. Ta di ta ka di, say it out loud. Ta ka di, I know you don't want to, but it's good for you. Ta di ta ka di. Okay, work on that until it feels comfortable. You can play at this kind of speed. I'm not measuring it on the metronome, but something like that. Now, how do we fit that in with our groove? I'm just going to demonstrate how that works now in one bar. I'm not going to play a whole four bar phrase yet, but we're just going to fit it into a bar. And we're going to be playing the fill on the third beat of the bar. So that means I'm going to go like this. One and two and ta di ta ta di. Where I would have said three, I'm going to say ta, okay? One and two. Two and ta di ta ka di. Let's get used to that again. I'm going to demonstrate a bunch of times. You can play along with me if you like. One and two and ta di ta ka di. One and two and ta 
D, D. I'm just playing the bass drum on the one and the snare on the two as you would do in a basic rock beat. One and two and. Okay, first half of the bar. One and two and. Ta D, ta D. 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 Do this hundreds of times. Ta D, ta D. And notice how the flow, two and three and four and means that the right hand is doing the same movements, just orchestrated on the kick. And four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. Then you just add that left hand. Ta di ta ta di. One, two, and ta di ta ta di. One, and two, and ta di ta ta di. And two, and ta di ta ta di. Remember, spend time to get yourself to the point where you can play the pattern and you feel nice and relaxed. You don't feel like you're uh, putting all of your brain's processing power into telling your hands what to do with that. The next thing we're going to do is put this into a four bar phrase. Now, just to remind you, and uh, please make sure you watch the video I did about how to count a four bar phrase with a crash. Um, you need to be pretty comfortable with that to then make this flow nicely. So uh, learn that and have it memorized. But I just remind you what the count is. Okay, it goes like this. One and two and three and four and two. Two and three and four and three and two. Three and four and four and two and ta di ta ta di. One, two and three and four and two. Two and three and four and three. Two and three and four and four and two and ta di ta ta di. One, two and three and four and two. Two and three and four and three and two and and four and four and two and ta. Are you counting out loud? One and two and three and four and two. Two and three and four and three and two, three and four and four and two and ta di ta ta di. One, two and three and four and two, two and three and four and three and two, three and four and four and two and ta di ta ta di. Okay, that's it. That's how we play a four bar phrase with a ca crash, a cash, I wish. Four bar phrase with a crash and tardy tuckadi fill, also known as Oh You Knucklehead or Pat Boone Debbie Boone, and I'm sure all sorts of other names it has. It's a very useful fill to be getting started with. Uh, once you feel that you've got this pattern down, you can then also play the same rhythm and orchestrate it on different drums. So you could go. Ta di ta ka di, just play it on one surface. Ta di ta ka di works pretty well. Or move it around. Ta di ta ka di, ta di ta ka di, ta di ta ka di. I don't know. See what works and improvise with that a little bit and get yourself really comfortable with it. Uh, in future videos, I'll give you a few other suggestions for fill patterns you can play. Once you've got the hang of a, a few patterns, you can then. Uh, start applying that to different things and it'll also open up the possibility for you to just improvise and make up some patterns but again I'm, I'm going to deal with some of that stuff in future videos so make sure you subscribe and um, you know like and do all those good things so that I can keep making these videos for you and also let me know what you think about this have you got the hang of this have the videos leading up to this uh, made sense and are you finding it easy to incorporate each step of the way Get used to playing four bar phrases, count out loud. Don't skip that step. It really helps you to focus. It really helps you to develop a good solid sense of time and learn how to distinguish whether your drumming sounds good or not to a great extent. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching this. Make sure you know fluently how to play four bar phrase with a crash and fill and next video will move on to the ride. Now, go away and practice.